Guys, it's me. Um, I, I think I believe I got a new project coming up. Um, got this case yesterday. It's a really, really big and heavy computer case. Um, I got it yesterday. I traded some stuff off for it. <laughs> so, but, <clears throat> and, well, as you can see, it has nothing in it. Nothing. Maybe a few cables, but that's about it. It's a big ol'. The only thing it's got in it is two DVD burners. See? DVD burner, DVD multi-burner. So. But I got this case. And this thing over here is an Aki television. It's going to do a video. I, re I had repaired the power board on it. I had to replace these three caps and this cap. I was going to do a video on it. I went to watch the news and it fucking blew up. I went, BAM! Well, well, as you can see, the logic boards are gone. They're currently at my work awaiting for parts. What happened is one, one of the capacitors on it, it, um, like, blew it blew up. I mean, it just literally blew up. It blew the cap right off the board. So, and it popped like, uh, I don't know. Uh, not set up. I don't know. It popped maybe like half the caps on the board. I mean, it's got two boards, and it's got an RF board, which is for the DTV, and the other board, which is the main board, which is for everything else, the HDMI component, AV, um, regular TV, that sort of thing. Anyways, the capacitors, like I said, the capacitor on the DTV board, I mean, it just... <laughs> I was using that as my computer monitor and as you can see I'm back to using my little one my little deal <clears throat> anyways um, that's all I've been up to I'm, like I said I got another project and I'll be doing a video on the TV once I get the caps fixed. I ordered a hundred of them. This is about 25 of them that I got to replace. I ordered a hundred of them for nine bucks. So that's not too bad. I got extras now. But I'll fix them boards while I'm at work. On my lunch break, of course. Um, here's the wiring schematic for it. <clears throat> This is the main board, and this is the RF board, so, but, the project that I'm talking about right now is that case, the stuff that's in this case, because that's a shitty case, is going to go in there, so, oh, and yeah, this TV's also got a built-on DVD player, which I don't care too much for. But I was using this as my computer monitor one time, or the other day, I was like, that was a pretty big monitor. <laughs> so, then I went to watch the news and went, bam! The image didn't go away. I mean, the image was still on there. It, just, it was just blank. There was nothing displayed. It was just a blank image. So, but... That's what I said. The, the cap should be in on Monday for that. It's an Aki 32 inch television. And then I got this case I traded some stuff for. Which the stuff in that case is going to go in here. So. And there's the back to it. There's the back to the TV. 
I gotta spray paint the cords white. I gotta spray paint this cord white. Cause this cord's made onto it. See? Which is retarded, but that's why Aki designed this TV. So I gotta spray paint that white. And I got an HDMI cable I gotta spray paint white because that TV's gonna be mounted right up here on my wall. I gotta move my dream catchers, but it's gonna be mounted right there. So I can lay back in my bed and watch movies. While this one here is my main TV, main monitor for like general stuff. Like email, web browsing, games, and all that. But that's what I've been up to. I said I was gonna do a video on this TV and it fucking blew up before I could do do so. Got a damn good picture. Just maybe fixing all these caps. Maybe it'll work better too, because it takes a little while for it to come on. But well, guys, I'll see y'all later. Nice cases. Too bad I don't have no keys. I just got keys for it. But Asus AMD Fina. See y'all guys later.